similar to preparing the MINI-ACT actuators, so we're going to show some video of the MINI-ACT assembly first. If you're new to magnetic actuators, then it's good to see both styles. Find the two small magnets that are included with your MINI-ACT actuator set. There's one small magnet for each actuator, and these small magnets are used for centering. The magnets outside the coil will provide centering force to the actuator when no input is received from the user. So when you let go of the stick, your actuator will return to center just like a servo. It's an optional install, but we think that most people will find it useful. So there's no centering on the Mini Act at first, what we're going to do is take the small magnet and bring it close to the outside of the coil, just like so. And once you bring it close, just like that, it snicks into place and it's on the outside of the coil and it adheres to the magnets inside the coil. Now by sliding the small magnet around on the outside, we can get the perfect centering that we want. We just move it around until the control output horn of the Mini Act is uh, nice and centered. Whoops, there's a mistake. Let's say you get something metal close to it. Well, it's not glued on yet, and the small magnet has fallen off and is now stuck onto the central magnets. We're showing this to you so you can learn how to deal with this problem. Get some tweezers and remove the small magnet where it has stuck onto the big magnet. There, just like so. Now you can click the magnet back in place. It's pretty cool how it just snaps right into place. Now you can see that we have some motion there. Whoops, same thing happened again. You have to glue them on before you're allowed to move it. So get the tweezers out again pull the small magnet off and you can see how easy it is to put it on the outside. The position is not that critical really, but um, once you have the position you want to glue it with some medium CA glue. Do not use thin CA glue for this procedure. The reason we want to use a medium or thick CA glue is to prevent the glue from wicking into the works of the actuator. So to apply the CA, get some medium CA or thick CA and get a dipper and just touch one drop, like a very small drop, to the magnet. We'll have a close-up view here to transfer, to show how we transfer the glue, just like so. So once it's touched with the glue like that, you can get some kicker and uh, harden it instantly. Don't use thin CA. If you want to have an easier way to do it, you can use ordinary white glue. It just depends on which technique you would like to use. And uh, as you can see, we have some good centering action for the actuator after the magnets have been glued in place. So here's the same procedure for the microacts. There's the finger with the magnet and bango! The magnet attracts to the magnets inside the coil and you're ready to go. When the magnet's in a good position with good centering then you can glue it down using medium CA or white glue. We'll install them from the top side of the wing. There are notches in the foam to accommodate the centering magnets so we string through the connector and then push the actuator from the top side down and then we can apply some glue on the tabs to hold the actuators in position lightly. Depending on the length of the wires of your microact actuators, you may wish to cut a small hole in the fuselage in which you can wind the excess actuator wire around and around. Just kind of go back and forth like that and leave enough length so you'll be able to connect to where the receiver is going to be here. The pins just slide in, one for elevator, one for rudder.